Afternoon, everyone. I know I should have started this vlog a lot sooner, but I've been kind of up and down today. Uh, exhaustion from yesterday, namely because I was trying to manage my pain so much, really hit me in. Though I woke up about 9 o'clock, I managed to get up, get my vlog editing uploading. After that, I was nearly exhausted, too exhausted to stay awake, so I slept for a couple hours. And then after that, I had been fiddling around with my Mac and Stan, trying to get so the It'll hold m both my Mac and bases. I'll show you. Okay, so this is the sort of new and improved stand. This is what originally was this holding pole at the center there, but it was not tall enough for my needs. Needed to have the Mac and essentially that high off the ground so that I could easily work on it. And being that this is almost double this length, it's quite an improvement. I can also use this piece too to support it if I want to situate it on a chair. This is good. For now, I actually not only hold my plus size mannequin, which is uh, this is my plus size mannequin. The it's a little bit wobbly the stand with this mac on because it is such top heavy but I do need the height uh, this mannequin is actually situated for my measurements right now so I can now lay out garments on it and fit to essentially my sizing now I'll show you how I switch it over. Okay, to switch over my mannequins, I just have to unclip the top half because it's on a two part rod. I can now slide this rod out of my plus size mannequin. Uh, into the smaller mannequin through a hole that's in the bottom there and then clip it back into place. So now I can work on my two models and it's uh, actually quite a bit easier. Uh, what I like about the pull system that I used, it came from uh, one pull set that was used to build a uh, temporary hanging storage. So these mobile those racks. Unfortunately, this particular model that I had gotten was not strong enough to hold any of my costumes. So I couldn't actually use it. In fact, it ended up breaking the system. So I've been looking for an option to use the bits and pieces, and this is one of the options. I can now switch. My mannequins. And it's a lot easier. 
Mind you. <laughs> Being that this one's so top heavy. I gotta be careful on how I balance this. Cause it will tip over. Unfortunately, it does have a specific balancing point, which I'm still working out. But as long as I tilt it in this direction with one foot this way and two going this way, it seems to work out okay. <laughs> uh, that's what I've done, been doing so far. Okay, so I've been working all day on fixing pictures finally game done this is the original of grandpa on my dad's side and this is the improved one let me just hide the sidebar here so you can actually see the two side by side I didn't have to do much with this one here. Take this a little bit taller up, and of course, uh, darken up the shadows and such, as well as make it larger because this is set for maybe a Two by three inch view. This one is set up for five by seven, so it'll be much easier to print off. Okay, and then this is the original of wedding photograph. Let me blow it up. As you can see, it's actually quite fuzzy. Just trying to get to the same size as the other one. I had to go through quite a bit of work. So, here's the improved one. Got a more natural sepia tone. There's definitely a lot clearer. features on it. So I can blow it up and doesn't lose a lot. This is the colored version. So I also added in some color to the couple here so that they could be a little bit different from the background. So on her dress, we've added a bit of gold, red flowers, green leaves, actually enhanced her skin tone and added brown to the hair. Same with on him, add brown. And since he's probably a lot like my dad, he probably had a brown suit as well. Now, of course, before I did the coloration, uh, see if I can get to the uncolored one. So, 
hide that sidebar again so you can see it. This is the uncolored one. Looks just as nice. Uh, as I said, kind of blends in with the background, so that's why I went and colored some areas just to pull them away from the background bit. Uh, both of these are set for 5x7s, so they'll print off quite nicely. So that's all I've done. I managed to do quite a bit. Yeah. Ooh, sorry. Being that closing out on midnight, <laughs> it's getting pretty late. Well, at least this is now done. Uh, parents should be happy with them. But since it is approaching midnight, I really should get to sleep. So hopefully I get at a, up at a good time tomorrow and be a little more productive. I think the next thing I gotta do is tackle finishing some Christmas gifts. And of course, sewing up the Christmas bags. So I'll handle those tomorrow. Until next time, everyone. See ya! And my last one, which is the dot flurry. I'm thinking I might have to go a little bit darker on the background. Because this is actually a bit too light for my taste. It doesn't really show the detail too well. So that's one thing to change. Next, I have my fat quarters that I'm giving a friend. I picked up various designs. Most of them actually blend well together. This one stands out, but... I wasn't planning on the person who's receiving them to use them all in the same project, but use them in different projects. So I wanted her to have a variety. And then, mom doesn't know this.